Hey, how are you doing? And welcome back to Everyday is Different. Today is to the Moon Monday. We're back on Kerbal Space Program, and uh, we're going to start something today. We're actually going to now we have a pretty okay-ish understanding of Kerbal Space Program. I actually want to start doing something. We've got a bunch of mods installed. I want to kind of start trying to like colonize some places, uh, get to some different, get satellites set up all around the different planets. You know. I'm thinking trying to set up bases on, I don't even know. Obviously we'll be starting at like Minmus Moon, and obviously after that we're going to try and get our way out to, uh, not Eve, but probably something like Juna, definitely Juna. Um, probably Jewel, Jewel at some point, and maybe even Elu. So yeah, I got I got plans, I got ideas of what I want to do, I just want to kind of get some stuff going, and if you guys have ideas of things you want me to do, that way you can tell me what you want to see and I can see if I can do it. Obviously, it's not going to be quite the same standard as some of the stuff you see on uh, Kerbal Space Program on YouTube because I'm still fairly new at the game and not that experienced. But I think the first plan for today is going to be... I think the first thing I want to do is get a, a uh, kind of space station set up around the moon and Kerbin. And then I want to make like a little transport shuttle to transport... Kerbals between the two and then eventually make a base on the moon and stuff like that. I think that's the first plan So obviously it's good, probably we're not going to do all that in the first in one episode It'll probably take a couple but we're going to start today by probably trying to get I Might try and get the Kerbin and the moon space station Or at least the main parts of them into it. So we'll start with the cut. We'll start with Kerbin uh, We've got a lot of mods installed some cool stuff uh, so we're, we're going to have some interesting things going on. Uh, so what are we going to start with at its main point? That's the question. Because um, it's a space station. It's don't We don't need it like any of these really. I mean, Orbital Command Pod might be an interesting one actually. Um, try and decide. You know, I quite like the Orbital Command Pod. It seems like quite a nice one to uh, start with. So yeah, we'll start with that. We'll start with this. We'll bring it up. Um, we're gonna put on the nose. Where are we looking? Coupling. There we go. Uh, just slap one of them on the nose right there. Come start where we can add things in. It'll be all right. Okay, let us let us think. Let us think what next. Okay, so we need. We'll go payload next. So what are we gonna use? Jesus, I don't even know what half. I literally just downloaded most of these mods, so I don't even know what half of it is. Uh, I'm just gonna use kind of a normal. That one? No. Where are the normal ones? That works. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Right. So in here we need... We'll go for electrical... What are we going to use? That one? Nah, no, that's a bit too big. We'll slap that one in, up the size a little bit. Put a couple of them in. I think two should be enough. What well, is a space station? We'll go three to be on the safe side. I don't really know what I need. We'll go for that to be on the safe side. Um, what else can we put in there? Communication? Not entirely sure. Uh, what if we kind of like attach this to like here? And then we can just do that, I guess, maybe. Uh, I, don't know, I don't really like that. What about this? 
It's in the middle. Yeah. Extend antenna. That's kind of interesting. I quite like that though, to be fair. So I think I might do that. I'm going to add that in. Yep. Yeah, I want to... No. That one. Retract. Okay. Uh, uh, right. I know, I know how we can fix that. What we'll do... Move this... That way. Just a little, and that should sort it. Yep, there we go. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, so much stuff I can just add in. Um, I don't even know. It's a massive research lab. Uh, well, this is just going around moon, the, around Kerbin. So we're not really trying for science here. I'm thinking this is just going to be sort of your kind of initial base so we're looking I kind of need I need places for people to stay so that one or what do we get what do we get Yeah, that one will do. How many people can that fit in? 16 kerbals. That'll be enough. Yep, close that. 16 kerbals. Um, we do have like life support stuff here for like if we tried to colonize, that'd be interesting. Uh, we would just add a little bit of science because it is obviously, it's still a, still a space station. You're probably gonna have sciencey stuff on there. So I'll add that. Uh, and we'll just put some. I'll just lob my. Where are you? Come on. I need something to like. Community experiment storage unit. There we go. Now I'll just lob a bunch of experiments around the center there. Um. That one, put that on there. A zoology bay, interesting. Uh, that one, yeah, we, we can we can use that. Where am I looking? Uh, we'll put that right there. No, we're not going to go that one. Barometer, that can go on. Mystery goo containment unit. That's a staple. Need to use that. Yeah, that work. That'll do. Close it all up. That'll do science-wise. Give this science looks kind of cool as well. Um, and then finally, and we don't need any armory stuff unless we're planning on building space lasers, <laughs> which I'm not yet. We'll think about that later on. Communication, we have got that little one there, but I kind of feel like we do need electrical stuff. So we've got a curved solar array. That looks kind of cool. I mean, we slap two of that. Um, if we put that like that. If we go for that, we'll go for that. We'll put that on. We could go for a bigger one, actually. Hold on. Could go for this. Yeah, that looks alright. That looks kind of nice. That looks kind of nice. Expanding curved solar away though. What is this? i would put that there and then deploy panels. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, we like that. Uh, I think that can probably come in right there. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Okay. That looks really nice. In all honesty, okay. I don't know what half of this is, so we're just kind of. I don't know what. I wouldn't just try and make it look. Uh, extend it. Ah, that's just your normal one, okay. Nah. Expanding curve sort of away. What's this one? Hmm. And we already have that, so I'll grab that off. That looks humongous. 
that is humongous. Don't think we need that. Uh, the Nautilus. Jesus, how big? Wow. Okay, there is some cool solar panel stuff in here. Uh, which one was that one? The, oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, that's if we make a massive one. We are the Sirius. Oh, sorry, I'm just kind of looking at this along with you guys. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's your normal kind of one. Standard. Standard. Okay, okay. I think I can live with what we got here. It looks quite... Look quite sciencey. Uh, maybe we'll lob a bit on the bottom here. We'll go for. Oh, I don't remember looking at this one. Oh, oh. Now that is interesting. I quite like that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna. Try... We well, don't need this many solar panels. I know that, but it looks too cool to not do it. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna get rid of one set of them. I'm just going to put them up there, and I'm going to move this up a bit, so like there. That works nicely. Um, then all we need to do is, I'm just trying to think what else we can add to it. I'm just kind of making it look cool at this point. Oh, we need a, an area we can actually get stuff connected onto it because obviously we've got this nose cone but we don't actually have like or what we could just do we could just add it onto the top now nah, we'll send it up as a separate piece I think and we'll connect it on there and that'll be like the section that all we'll you'll be able to connect other bits to so for now all we really need is I think I want this to orbit at about a hundred and twenty thousand meters maybe so I'm thinking we'll go, I'll just grab one of them, even though I know it's too big. Um, down to two and a half meters. I'm still not the best at building rockets, I, I'll be the first to admit that. So this probably isn't going to work first try. Um, I've got a lot of engines in here. Okay. I'm just going to slap the poodle on there. So the poodles are fairly normal kind of one to work with. That should give me we've got a maximum delta V of 721 from that. Hmm. Will that be enough to get us kind of, or do we need a little bit more, do you reckon? Do we need a little bit more fuel? I don't really know. Um, just thinking. Go for that one. And put that in. That gives me a thousand. I think that would be enough just for like the second stage. So we'll just grab that up. And now I want coupling 25. And then. Where's the fairings? I always forget. There, we'll go for the 3.75 meter shell. Let's 
There we go. Right. So that is that done. That's fairly large, I won't lie. And we're using a 3.75, so we'll just use 3.75 uh, engines for that one. Let's go one, two, and a half, I think. And I think I'm going to use the sort of standard. Actually, we've got so many different ones <coughs> now. I don't know what half of them bloody are. You got this hummingbird land landing engine. Hmm. Cryogenic stuff as well. That is a lot of thrust on that engine, Jesus. Or well, at least it seems like it's a lot of thrust, but it might not be. Hold on a second. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Uh, what, what does this one need? Liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. Okay. Do you reckon... Do you... <laughs> 10 thrust to weight ratio, what is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, I'm not actually going to use that, but that is insane. I might use the engine, just not 8 of them, you know? Uh, 4 would probably work. 2 would probably work. Two would work, yeah. Maybe even one would work, but yeah. All right, so I get two, four, seven, nine from from one. How much do I get from two? Two, three, eight, five. So we know one is our one is the most efficient engine. Two, four, seven, nine. Is that gonna? Is that enough? Or should I just add some slap some boosters onto the side? Just some solid rockets to help me get off the ground. See, I have no idea. I have no idea how much delta v I actually need to get into orbit. I still haven't learned that yet. I really need to. Uh, you know what? Let's just Google it right now. Uh, KSP. Forty-five hundred. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to give myself a couple of boosters then along the side. And probably liquid fuel boosters. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to flip. Not going to lie. Um, so we're using three. Let's use. They're the big engines. I want two point five. And I need coupling. That's a good point. Uh, go for that one. Two. Two will be enough, yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. So we'll do that. I'm going to go for that one and... Mm. that one, I think, and slap a nose cone on, just 
300 kilograms. Okay, good. Oh, does it weigh 300 kilograms? No, no, okay. Uh, yes, and then actually, you know what I might do? Ooh, I think it's in the engines. I never use these, and I know I should. So I'm going to put, you know, two of them on there just to fire away. Engines wise, what am I going to put on? I think, actually, one thing I think I might do is I might go for. I think I'm going to go for onion staging here and then while I'm there I'm going to add just your normal struts on that there and one that there and then engines come on let's look at something new something different how much thrust is it going to need to give me? I don't really know. Atomic aero spike? Liquid hydrogen? Got the orbital maneuvering engine? Orbital maneuvering engine cluster? I don't know what half of these new engines are as well, Jesus. What well, half the new fuels are, sorry. Air breathing nuclear engine. It sounds so cool. Oh, uh, so that's the one we're using there. I think that's the one we're using. So that gives us 1970. Maybe this one. Two of them. And then. What do you need? Which one did I just use? What are you? Fuji. Um. You need liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. Okay. Uh, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. Right. So we want them to go. Nope. We want them and them to go. We want them to go when that goes. Then we're going to go for that. That. Than that. That should work. Uh, oh, actually, fins. Fins definitely need fins. Um, we'll go for. What will we go for? Big S delta win. Right, we'll go for that. I don't need it that big though. I'm gonna go for like no. 85 yeah, that looks that looks okay I can go for that I'll go for that yeah we'll try this I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work um, but we'll go for it why not we'll go uh, curb station now I have a feeling this is gonna crash but I don't know let's go let's launch it see if it'll actually work properly Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna make sure it's all done. It does say only three thirty three three five six, so I'm actually not entirely sure if I'm gonna have enough delta V to get there. But uh we'll wait and see. We'll try it, we'll see what happens. This is just kind of a test. I'm never good at it. Uh we don't wanna I'm not gonna start at that. I'm gonna start at about sixty. I'm gonna start at hundred. Wow, they're using it fuel, fuel quick, but then again, it is getting pumped straight back into the center there, so... If 
fair enough. Uh, I think I'm going to do a fairly shallow, steep, I can never decide which one. Oh well, I don't really know what kind of ascent profile I'm going to be going for here. Slow it down a little bit. I don't think I'm going to have enough delta V really. I'm hoping I've got this spinning spun the right way. So that we're not... Nope, that seems to have worked. Gonna set the gimbal limit to more like 20... 44. Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, then this is really enjoying tipping. Yeah, now this is not fun. Okay. Oh, orbit. I'll go prograde now. Why not? And hope. No. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna want to. But it's gonna tip. Don't tip. Turn. Uh, gimbal. Or two hundred. Gimbal limit 100 should sort of hit. <sighs> okay, seems like we will have enough fuel, which is okay then. We're up to 60,000 meters. 70. Get it up to about, as I said, about. I'm not gonna deploy that now. Get it up to about 120k, I think. Or somewhere in that ballpark. You know, 115, that'll do me. Okay, let's have a look. Let's try and, you know, I did forget about having to actually get into orbit. Uh, apparently not. Apparently I am not gonna have enough fuel to get into orbit. I don't have any RCS on it either, do I? Uh, actually, I would have enough fuel to get into orbit, but I still don't have any RCS in it. I don't need any RCS on this one, really, because I'm not going to be manoeuvring this one. So I should be able to survive. Uh, let's go around that way a little bit. 118. Yep, yeah, okay. I will... should be able to work that. Go to maneuver node. Hopefully that's rotating on its own. Burn time is a minute 56. Need to burn about now. Ah. That ain't good. Hmm. Interesting. Will it have enough delta V to get me in? I don't know. Will it have enough delta V to get me into orbit? That's the question. Um, it's saying burn time a minute and 50 and we did start the burn very, very late. So I don't know. I don't know. I think we would have enough, we are might actually have enough, Ooh, I don't like, I don't think we're going to have enough, Ooh. I just don't like how this burn's going because we're getting quite far along now, oh man, I 
we might have to A try a shallower ascent profile so we don't have as big of an orbit burn. That would probably be the best idea. We'll see how this goes if it doesn't end up working out fully. We'll see how much delta V I think, how much delta V I might have left, and then uh, work it from there. Well, I mean, I'm in an orbit. It's not a great one, but it is an orbit, to say the least. It's a weird orbit, and I have no delta V left. So, uh, Valentina, you are now... Where, where is it? There it is. You are now stuck in space until I can get something out here. But, we are... Uh, we are all good, it seems. We'll deploy... The cool stuff that makes it look like that we will open that up and extend the antenna just so it kind of looks full but I'd say that is a pretty cool looking not that you know it's kind of just your normal base I doubt I don't think I've actually used any science um, I don't think I've any, used any electricity, but you know, um, let's just let's just let's just see Valentina's view right now. Looks pretty nice, I must say. But we are going to nope, not do that. I think we're going to move. Uh, let's see if we do that. Transfer crew. What do you mean? The, 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 no, not on that part, on that part. Transfer crew. Transfer to the science station. And now we're in the science bit, I think. Ah, right. This is what we got going on. I like it. I like it. It looks nice. So, the next section, I think think is going to be to kind of add in a port docking area that they can come in and sort out here and we need to add some form of RCS and I do need to get something up here that does have fuel left in it so that I can maneuver this if need be because uh, I kind of want to get into a better orbit really so I think that's the plan basically so let's do it let's get that up here as well Okay, escape. Uh, let's go back to the space center. Ah, right. Okay, let's get this second bit up. Much smaller rocket this time. Uh, basically, just RCS. Right, you, you, what? You're in orbit right now. Why do I have another one? I don't need another one. Yeah, you're in orbit. What are you doing? Right, I will make sure that's saved and then we'll get another one going. So, make sure that is saved. And then we'll just slap that over. Um, so I think this time I'm going to go, we'll change it up a little bit, it's going to be a smaller one, so we'll start with, uh, we need something I can put an actual, can put something on to, so, we'll go for, I kind of want something a bit smaller, uh, how's that looking, that's very small, I don't like that one. Uh, that one. That one. Uh, 
Yeah, why not? We'll go that, and then I will put on... So I need... I'm going to add on... I'm going to... Oh, I don't even know. Um, coupling. I need... Don't worry, I know it looks ugly, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to open that. Um, and we're doing this. And then I'm going for... No, not that. Uh, we'll just grab a... Um... Two and a half meter. I'll grab a two and a half meter. Not that one, that was too big. That one. Um, okay, we'll do that. This is. Mm, it just doesn't look right, really. Get rid of that. Go for that. Yep, that'll do. Right. Um, I'm going coupling that one, and then four, and I might go for the. Yeah, you know what this will do. Right. Four of them, I like that, that should work. That should work, I hope. Okay, and that's 1.25, so I just need an adapter. Uh, that one. Yes. No. Move that up. Actually, I will. Uh, yeah. So now we're bringing an RCS tank in. Oh, that's a big RCS tank. Guess it. We could always re. That's a lot of. Um, no, I think I need. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll go for that. Uh, and then we want... Not that one. I'll go for one of them. I think. I'm gonna go... Disable we'll cross feed. There we go. And so what was this one for? You know what I might actually do is I'm gonna add utility mark one cabin crew. I'm gonna put that in there, I'm gonna take some more people up. There, there, there. Got mono propellant, so I need command and control. Power 0.5. Power 0.35. 0.5. Five. Jesus, they're all so no power. Not powered. 1.5. That is huge though. Oh, wow, okay, interesting. Do we need that many? I don't need that many. I think we need two. Two up here. Like that. 
and then two down here. Should be rock. Should should be good enough. Yeah, that should, that'll be fine. Screw it, it'll be fine. Uh, and then we just need a shadow. We're doing. Yeah. Uh, now we'll go for a little bit extra fuel, like that. Put that down, and then. Where's the orbital maneuvering engines that there were? Well, I should probably use a poodle again just because that's what we were using before, so it'll be the same fuel. That one. Okay, I think that'll be good. So we want. Decoupler. That one. And fairing. Come on. There we go. Right. There is that. Jesus, it's huge. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Right, it does have plenty of Delta V though to be able to get it into the right area, so that's fine. <sighs> now, what do I do? Give me that. Slap them out. I don't know, will two of them be enough? How much Delta V did it say I had at the beginning of the last one? Like, 3300, and it just got me into orbit. So this top stage will have plenty of Delta V to be able to get me into a decent orbit. But it's whether I'll have enough to get into where I need to be. So, um, you know what, I'm going to get rid of that one. Engines. Where to begin? I think I need something like... That's 800. That's probably going to be like one of the better engines, really. Um, I need that one. Gives me 1300 at uh, 0.99, which isn't great. Okay, so I think we're going to try one launch of this. 
monstrosity. See how it goes. And we'll have, have some ideas, but then this is gonna we'll, we'll get take the ideas. We'll improve on it in net in the next episode. I think just because I don't want to make the episodes too long. I think sort of thirty minutes, forty minutes is about the length I want them to be. I don't want them to be like hour and a half marathons for you guys. I want them to be like 20, 30, 40 minutes that you can watch in one, maybe two goes. So that's the plan. Here we go. SAS on. Slap it. Wait for it to break a little bit. I am gonna yeah, no, actually Oh that's okay. Right, I will just change that. I will just you know add some structural integrity to it. Um structural U two one two three Four. No, never mind. Four. There we go. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. Let's do it now that it's not flopping around everywhere. As you can see, I actually haven't started my uh, my uh, vector engines yet. That's just because the glide tails just have so much battery power. I'll give them a little bit of them just so it can manoeuvre. Okay, interesting. Right. So I literally, once I start the veterans, I can't take them back down to zero. Really? Uh, I need to test this now. Give it a couple of tests. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it's looking. <sighs> um, right, so if I put this up to max and then put it down, I can't start. Them. Nope, I just can't start with them once I... Right. Interesting. I didn't know that was the thing. Uh, so right, when I take them down, I have to take them to like right low. Okay. I'll try it one more time. See how it goes. I know it's humongous, but you know, it is what it is, right. Come on then. Launch it. They do sound beefy, these guys do. It's pretty nice. SAS off. Do you have a gimbal? I do. I'm going to turn your gimbal down to about 50%. I'm going to wait for us to get higher into the sky. Yeah, I'm going to wait because just because it's quite a long payload, I'm going to wait till we get higher into the atmosphere before I start the thing going. Thank you. 
start turning it over now. It's a wobbly boy. see that we've gone way higher than I should have done and oh god what have I done what what I can't even start the vector engines again oh my god I'm a man I'm, I'm a dumbass I'm a massive dumbass right Okay, I'm going to change it. We're going to try this one more time. Clydesdales are too much. Way too much. We're going to go for... Um, where are they? Nope, that's too small. Kick back. No. Thoroughbred. I think the thoroughbred will be good. Thoroughbred. If I can find where it'll actually connect. There? No. We really need to bring it higher. There you go, right. Um, two. But why? No, you. Oh, come on. Connect to it. Please. There we go. There we go, right. Um, now that it's connected, I can try to grab that. Yep, there we go. Bring it down a bit. Uh, I wonder if I can add, if I add, say, where are they? Can I add a little bit extra solid fuel to it? And then, show tank you like, can I add solid fuel? What fuel do you use? It just says solid fuel, okay, guess not. <sighs> okay. Uh, nose cone. That one. Yeah, that one, and up it. I should be okay. Um, structural there. Okay, let's try this instead. <laughs> this will be the final try. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm probably, not, I'm definitely not going to be docking it with the normal station today. That's going to be a uh, next episode sort of thing. I just want to get it into an orbit. So SA is on. Launch it. Give it a second to break. Yep. Just keep there we go finally. Yeah. Give it a little bit of a bump with the vectors.
yep, there we go, that's what I expected. You really can't turn this thing quick at all. Ah, uh, okay, we'll revert flight to launch, and then we'll leave it there for this episode, I think, guys, just because it's probably going to take me many attempts before I actually get this ascent right, and I actually get it into the space. So, we'll leave it there, looking at this thing, and yeah, we've got one bit up into space, and not much else because I'm pretty terrible at building rockets but either way I hope you guys have enjoyed the start of this little thing I'm gonna see if I can try and do and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video guys